Hi ladies, happy Friday, hope you are all well. Sophie from SV Sports Therapy here, based at your Gunpowder Park Abfab Fit Club. This afternoon, we're going to talk about how stretching your groin muscles can help with lower back pain. Why? Well, the groin muscles, there are three, and they start quite deep in the nickeline area and one of them also attaches into the sit bone here. Now, when the groin muscles become tight, they can pull the pelvis forwards and that can have a knock-on effect in the tightness and pain in the joints and compression of the discs in the lower back. So this afternoon, we'd, we'd love to run through a couple of stretches for your groins, especially for those people that are sitting at a desk. So join me on the mat. First exercise is a really lovely, simple exercise that you can do throughout the day. All you need to do is lie on your back, have your knees bent, your feet on the floor, and then you're just going to take one knee out to the side and then the other knee out to the side. You can use a little weight, backpack with some books, or just your hands and just lightly press down on one and then press down on the other. Press down on one and then press down on the other. So you can start to create a little bit of a rocking mo motion as well. Main aim is not to allow your lower back to arch. So you're not sticking your chest and your rib cage forwards towards the ceiling. You're keeping it tucked onto the floor as you're stretching. You can create a little bit more, sorry, that's the kitten. You can create a little bit more of a frog stretch by putting your feet together and then having the knees pressed out to the side. How long should you hold it for? Until you feel like you've started to open up the nickeline area and around groin. Next exercise, you'd want to stand and have a stool and you're going to open up the groin and nickeline area. So you're going to have your foot on a, on a step, toes facing the, the ceiling, and you're going to slightly rotate away from it. So I want to open up this section of my leg around nickeline area. Think about having a swimsuit or a pair of uh, bikini bottoms on, and around that seam is where we're opening. So again, you're not leaning forward. It's not like a good morning exercise, keeping the chest um, proud and forwards. Hand on hip, hold on to something, and then just opening around and then coming back towards that stretch leg. Opening around and then coming back. Lovely. Try on the other side, see how the other side feels. So, leg, toes to the ceiling, going away from it and then going towards it. Going away from it, and then going towards it. Not creating that forward tilt with the hips. Okay, another exercise. You can grab yourself a band, pop that around the foot, and then you can go into your hamstring stretch, and then away. Into the hamstring stretch, and then away. If you haven't got a band, just do exactly what I'm doing now. So you could improvise with a band or a towel or a dressing gown rope and then coming into hamstring and then away. So it's a really nice stretch to incorporate that adductor magnus muscle, which is another one of the groin muscles, attaching onto that sit bone where the hamstring muscles attach and then coming away. So opening up in here. You can even add a little bit of a knee bend as well to get a bit more of a stretch in here and then coming away from it. A little bit of a knee bend and then coming away. Lovely, so let's recap. We've got three stretches this afternoon. We've got lying on our back, knees out to the side, feet together. Start with the feet for further away from the hips. Hello you. <laughs> and then feet closer. And then just using your hands as some pressure. No, no, no. Using your hands as pressure to open up the hips making sure you haven't got an arched back, keeping your back into the floor. You can then even modify that and just slightly rock side to side. Next exercise, you've got your foot on a step, 
toes to ceiling and then you're moving away from the leg with a nice straight knee and close to the leg moving away from the leg and then close the leg feel that stretch into the groin and nicoline area next stretch more of a hamstring stretch and then coming away more of a hamstring stretch back of thigh and then coming away and then you can modify that as well by having a bit of a knee bend a bit of a stretch through here and then straightening and coming away you might hear and feel lots of clicks and uh, and popping around the hips and the knees really really common really really normal normally not painful at all it feels quite nice actually to have that relief what is it? Most of the time it is air and gas bubbles. As you're moving the ball in the socket joints, it creates more movement and more fluidity and that creates the popping. So that's how to stretch the groin muscles to aid lower back tightness or lower back pain. Reach out to us via social media, drop me a message on the AbFab Facebook page. We're here to serve you during the third lockdown uh, via video appointments. Um, if you want any impartial advice, by all means, pick up the phone. Don't suffer in silence or drop us a message. That's Sophie from SV Sports Therapy. Ladies, have a wonderful rest of your Friday. At the moment, it's lovely and sunny out there, so I hope you go and get some vitamin D. Bye for now.